found six people have been picked up in the northern region at the ongoing new patriotic party's regional branch elections. Northern Regional Crime Officer Superintendent Bernard Baba Ananga, who confirmed this, said they suspect the six were plotting to create mayhem at the venue. Yes, about six uh, persons have been uh, arrested by police. It appeared that most of them were here for a different purpose. We were here as early as possible to ensure that the place, the gates were open to the public. And that we come to, went to all the stadium apartments and all the rooms. And we detected that some people were hiding somewhere. About five of them. So we picked them up and then we sent them to the office for investigation. Another one also found himself in a secret room somewhere making calls to one of our officers uh, in the door inspection. inspection. Uh, we saw that those persons appear to be characters that are suspicious. Uh, this uh, premises was made and uh, possibly be smuggling in one way or the other, uh, which the investigations are on to find out the purpose of their presence here. They were not authorized in any way, nobody seemed to know them. And Apologize for the poor sound, but six out of the 16 regions are, election, are electing their regional representatives today. Aspirants from the northeast, northern, northeast and Bono East regions have been cleared to set off the race today. Other regions have been slated for Saturday and Sunday, voting delayed at some polling centers this morning. Member of the Regional Elections Committee, Matthew Nyindam, explains reasons accounting for the challenges in those regions. And we expect this Congress or conference to start at 9 o'clock. But unfortunately, we don't form a quorum. That's what is actually keeping us. We expect most of our delegation to be seated by now. But for now, they are not in. We expect in the next 20 minutes, we'll have a quorum to start. That's the only thing that's within us. What if in the next 20 minutes, we don't have people we, coming? We are keeping them up to quickly be here. Obviously, we know the consequences. The elections are just a very few. We are looking at 382 delegates. So they are not too much, 18 constituencies. So we started calling the constituency chairman to make sure that they get their people here. And the aspirants, most of them are here. They just left with the chairman and the youth organizers that are not here. So in the next 20 minutes, I'm pretty sure that we should get this game started. Now you are part of the uh, regional committee, election committee. How has the preparation gone so far? Well, I think that so far it's been very satisfactory. If you look at the security aspect, we've been able to get enough security. We have also made it clear that if you don't have accreditation, you shouldn't be allowed in. And that has been rigorously followed by the security people. So it, it's been fine. Then if you look at the Electoral Commission, they are already set up waiting for the election to start. So like I said earlier, we are just waiting for the delegates. So far, it's been very peaceful, although early days yet. We expect to have free, fair elections. And the winner will say, I have won proudly. The loser will say, yes, I have lost. And we look for, for another four years. You mentioned free fair elections. Um, some of the people already are casting doubts on the election even before it started. They are talking of name deletion and addition. Has that come to your attention? Well, uh, it's been rumored that some people say some names have been off, others say some have been on, but we haven't even started the elections.